Hey, welcome back to Kiwi Tech, and today we're looking at a fake and a real Neo Hybrid case. Want to find out the differences? So if you get one, then you can tell if it's real or not. So let's get into it. Have a look. So first up, we have the boxes on the right hand side. We can see this is the fake one. This is branded Ned Hybrid, but the case actually says Neo, so it's hard to tell. On the left one, we have the real one. Now, the cases look really similar. The left-hand side, the real case, is actually a, a little bit tougher, so it's not going to crack. You can see the back one cracked when I tried to open it. Um, down the bottom, just beside the barcode, we have the left one. The real one says it was designed in California, made in China. The right one says designed nowhere. It doesn't say that at all. It just says made in China. Right, so now I'm going to get the inners out and we're going to compare them again. So you can see a slight difference. The real one is quite a little bit more detailed than the fake one. Okay, let's just get those out of the way and take a look at the case themselves. Now, first impressions, they look very similar, don't they? Obviously upside down. Um, the Spargan branding, you can see, is slightly bigger on the fake one on the right hand side. The speaker cover is slightly bigger also on the fake one. And we can see it's a lot bulkier around the edges. We can see it's quite bulky, the plastic, a little shell there. And this is what comes with the real authentic Neo Hybrid case. You get three little jelly stickers that cover your home button. And we get a little card with an identification number that we can check on the website. So those are the little three gel stickers that go on top of the home button. And there's our special code and some more documentation about the other products they sell. So we can go into original.spygen.com and type in that code and it will tell us that it's authentic or not. And in this case, my one that I've just purchased off Amazon is authentic. And the other one didn't have this at all, so clearly that was a telltale sign. Right, now, let's compare device to device. We can see that the real one, which has got the metallic sort of cover instead of the silver, has a slightly smaller microphone. The branding is slightly smaller as well. And the, f the top one says Ned Hybrid, and the other one says Neo Hybrid. So it's a no-brainer which one's the fake one there. And turning it around, looking again at the microphone, the logo again, and the 13 mega, which is for the camera, of course. Now, the material itself is actually quite a lot different. They look pretty similar, first impressions. Covers interior looks almost identical, but when you actually feel the quality, it is remarkably different. We can see the fake Ned Hybrid. The case is a lot plasticky. It's um, not like a fine rubber. It has actual rubber inserts that cover the buttons, which actually makes it harder to press. And the real inner versus the fake inner, we can see it's got a bit more ear padding, like a honeycomb effect, which adds to the cushioning if it does fall, which after all is the purpose of this case, not just for looks. So we can see there's a hole for the for power button, which makes it a lot more easier to press. We can actually feel that. And it's a more detailed look. So it's basically a plastic shell with a fake one and a nice TPU in it, which is a far better quality material than just the plastic insert in the fake one. So now I'm going to slide it inside and see what it looks like. If I can actually get my device off the dock. Okay, so it goes in front first. Make sure the keys are aligned, and then we just push the bottom in, and that's it, done. And that feels really nice. It's a lot smoother, the casing's a lot more robust. So if you have got a fake one, it will do a job. Um, probably not quite as effective as the Neo Hybrid of original, but um, it will protect it a little bit. This definitely does feel a, a lot better than what the fake one did when I applied that to my device. Yeah, let's get that out of the way. And let's just go over and have a quick look at the features. Okay, so the branding, 
the buttons are the, uh, the biggest difference. You can actually push the volume in up and down rockers, the power button, and you can feel them click. Whereas the previous one, the fake one, it didn't do that at all. All you could feel was the, a, a squish, and you didn't know if you'd actually pushed it hard enough or not. So that's a look at the device. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope that has helped you decide if your case is authentic or not. And I hope you make a good purchase. Um, Amazon is obviously a safe bet. eBay, make sure you look for an 100% authentic case. So this is KiwiTech. Thanks for watching.